So what can you learn from pulling a dozen shots of espresso through a bottomless portafilter? Turns out you can learn a lot pulling naked shots. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com. Today I'll show you how I use a bottomless portafilter to learn more about the Profitec Pro 800 spring lever machine. I'll show you pieces of my 12 bottomless extractions and discuss the adjustments I made to fine tune them based on what I saw. So I've had the Pro 800 here in the studio for a few months and I've used it some, but I really wanted to improve my results. Now, if you're not familiar with the Pro 800, use the link up here to see my full inside out review. Now, I firmly believe that a bottomless portafilter is one of the best ways of learning. It will help you pull better shots. It puts an extraction in full view so you can evaluate it and make adjustments to things like tamping technique and a whole lot more. And well, those naked extractions, when you get them right, they are definitely a thing of beauty to be appreciated by friends and neighbors. So the Pro 800 is one of a few machines that comes stock with a bottomless portafilter. So I put it to work, pulling 12 naked shots in order to evaluate my technique and better learn the machine. I'll get into more later, but one thing I discovered is I need to work on my tamping technique a bit. Using the bottomless portafilter, I found a consistent issue that I never would have known about if using a spouted portafilter. I ground for my shots on the Chiato E37S. It's a beast and my favorite cost is no object grinder. NSF and UL approved, it has massive 83 millimeter flat stainless burrs, grinds for a double in under four seconds, features Chiato steady lock and static clumping and control technology, and at the moment is very close in price to Mazer Mini Electronic Grinders with a lot more to offer in the burr motor and build department. So let's get to the shots. Here's my very first attempt. It's not perfect, but I did get relatively lucky. At the start, I'm looking for the espresso to come evenly from the basket and congeal into a single stream. I'm also on the lookout for any spurts or dead spots. There are some very minor ones, but overall pretty good. My only real issue with this one is it went blonde a little sooner than I would have liked. In my second shot, I kept everything pretty much the same and just tamped the coffee a little harder. It started off nice, but skipping ahead, I got some major spurts. Now, those indicate potential channeling due to an uneven grounds distribution or maybe a bad tamp. For attempts three and four, I tried to be better with my tamping while keeping other parameters about the same. I was just trying to get shots with zero spurts, but ended up with some in both. On shot number five, I ended up with some major spurting after a partial re-pull of the lever. I checked the surface of the puck after the shot. Now it's hard to see, but maybe a little channel right there at the edge. For shot number six, I decided it was time to start holding back the lever a bit as the shot progressed. I must have had an off distribution or tamp with a lot of spurting at the start. Now, lever machines do a sort of pressure profiling by starting at about 12 bars and ramping down to a lower pressure at the end. By holding back the lever a bit, the pressure can be reduced. I had the same results on shot number seven and thought my shots were blotting early, so I decided to make a change and up the dose from 17 grams to near 18 and a half for attempt number eight and see what happened. On shot number eight, again, lots of spurting, and I had some areas of the filter basket towards the back right at two o'clock that were not contributing much. On shot nine, I used a very hard tamp, and it started out looking great, no spurts and good color. At the end, it looked a bit like some of the basket towards the back, again, was not contributing much, and overall, the shot time was very long at about 35 seconds and short on liquid volume. Now, looking back at the video of all my shots, it seems a lot of my spurting and flow issues happened at that back right corner, the two o'clock position. For shot 10, I made my first grind adjustment. Shots eight and nine were way too long at around 40 seconds, so I adjusted the grind just a tiny bit coarser and kept the dose the same at a hair over 18 grams. This was definitely my breakthrough shot. 26 seconds long, one tiny little spurt, but otherwise beautiful. Now it was interesting that it lightened up a bit in the middle and then got darker again at the end. 
For the next two shots, I kept everything about the same to see if I could repeat my success with shot 10. Shot 11 had a very spurty start, but finished okay. It went a hair long for my taste at 31 seconds. On shot 12, I was pretty much able to duplicate the success I had with shot 10. Only real difference from shot 11 was I held back the lever a bit more after releasing to decrease the brew pressure a bit and let it ramp up more slowly. Didn't want to shock the puck. So what did I learn doing all these? Well, I needed to work on my tamping. And many of the shots I had problems in that two o'clock location in the basket, something I just never would have known if using a regular porta filter. As far as the machine, with the coffee I was using, a higher dose and harder tamp improved my shots. And with the bottomless, I could really see the effect of changing the brewing pressure by holding back the lever a bit as the shot was extracting. Now, I don't use the lever machine daily, so seeing the change as I affected the brew pressure helped me learn a lot. Are you ready to go bottomless and improve your technique and maybe learn some more about your machine? If so, use the link up here to a selection of bottomless porta filters for machines from Ranchilio, Gaja, Expo Bar, Profitech, ECM, and more. I'm Mark from Holatelove.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com.